name is Alexis Wren and welcome to my refrigerator. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tour. Um, thing is, I was gonna clean up my fridge and make it super photogenic and aesthetically pretty, but then I thought, nah, I kinda wanna be more real. So I'm genuinely just gonna show you how my fridge looks right now. Obviously, I bought a few more things just to make it look full, <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and get started. Ta -da! to show what my refrigerator is because, you know, the refrigerator is not always very clean, but I just wanted to be honest. So here we are, and this is my refrigerator. It's my guilty pleasure. It's my favorite creamer, and I am a coffee addict. I love coffee. Since I just launched my new company, Future Prosperity, I am trying to be as light on plastic as I possibly can. Now that we, we know that we live in a society where plastic is kind of ruling everything, but whenever I go to farmer's markets or anything, I'll bring these bags with me and put the vegetables in them. So you can see in here we have the broccoli. Um, what I love to do with broccoli is I love to saute it with coconut amino acids. So this stuff right here is one of my favorite products in the entire world. I put it in everything that's savory. Um, <laughs> it just, it's, it's literally my secret sauce, like actually. Um, I put this on vegetables, in salads, in stir fries. This is like an all purpose and it's 73% less sodium than soy sauce. Another thing that you'll see automatically is fruit. Um, watch a minute. I love fruit so much. It keeps me happy. We have dragon fruit here, which you're wondering what this is. This is dragon fruit. It's beautiful. Almond butter for smoothies. I make sure that there's no sodium in it because they have a tendency to put a lot of salt in it. You can see that we like to make food from scratch, or I personally do. I love cooking, so that's one of the things that I like to focus on. The milks that I like are usually macadamia milk or oat milk. They're great with my favorite snack in the world, which is this. It's so good, and it was actually made from a person who has um, diabetes. So it is made out of pea protein, um, tapioca flour, and stevia. So it's amazing. It's like 90 calories a bowl. I have this when it's like late at night and I want to have a little something. I'll put like dates in it, bananas, and then on top of that, I'll put this in it. So this is Cocoa Whip and it's so good. It tastes like Ben & Jerry's vanilla ice cream. I couldn't believe that this was only 30 calories in my love. For more protein oriented things, I am, I would say I'm like 98% vegan. Um, so for my proteins, I love beans, garbanzo beans. Here we have tempeh, which I love tempeh. One of the few foods I couldn't get without plastic, but it's okay, we're trying to be better, not perfect. This was from this morning, but this is my chai that I like to make every morning. So I take oat milk, dates, and chai, and I'll blend it in a blender, and it's so fulfilling and so yummy. You can even put like a little bit of protein powder in it just to keep yourself full. I'm just gonna drink it right now. <laughs> a couple of things that I like, depending on what I want for that night, is we have bitchin sauce. This is so good, it's vegan. It tastes amazing on everything. Coconut water. <laughs> Usually we have coconuts in here, but since we don't, I grab this from the store. And also ketchup, but I love this brand specifically, Primal Kitchen, because it's unsweetened and most of our ketchups are actually doused with sugar. Some more baggies, some beets. And when it comes to drinking water, I... <laughs> I'm not, I'm not very good at drinking water. I don't know if most people are. I feel like I'm always dehydrated. I found out a trick that really helps. I will put um, two lemons in a big, like one liter glass jar, and I'll squeeze them in, and then I'll put stevia in it. And then I'll leave it in the fridge overnight. So I wake up, and it's the most amazing tasting limeade, and so I immediately want to start drinking it because it tastes like a treat. And so by the afternoon, I've already drank like one liter of water. So that's my trick for that. I love cauliflower. I think it's the most versatile vegetable ever. Um, I'll break, I'll wash this, break this up into pieces and then put olive oil, some salt, maybe some coconut amino acids. 
throw it in the oven for like 20, 25 minutes and you have the most amazing like crisp cauliflower that you can dip in things. And me and my girlfriend, we are my god sister. We love just making things from scratch. I think, you know, coming from a background of having an eating disorder, I just think it's so important that we make our food with love and we know what's in it. So that's when I started actually cooking for myself was when I realized how much better I felt when I knew what was going into my body and also that I put so much love into it. Cause so much of the times, you know, you'll order something and everyone's in such a rush all the time that it just doesn't have the kind of quality and like energetic balance that it needs. And since I'm very sensitive, I can usually feel that. So I love, love, love um, eating at home. So that's about it. That's in my fridge. Thank you so much for Women's Health. And I hope I gave you some tips. If not, I hope you enjoyed this.